cranky pumpkin, but I do need my backpack to take to the boot sale. So you're gonna have to move, I'm afraid. <laughs> and Mittens is having a little snooze. <laughs> Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I'm back with another car boot sale video for you today. And I thought we would do a bit of a challenge. I thought I would restrict my spending today and we'll do a 20 pound car boot sale challenge. So we'll go to the car boot sale and I will see what I can pick up. So 20 pounds for the budget. In terms of things that I'm looking for, I've actually got kind of autumn and Christmas in mind. So if I see any nice Christmas decorations, any autumn home decor, that sort of thing, I'll be keeping my eyes peeled for that. Otherwise, just a normal kind of regular car boot sale browse. See what catches my eye. And I'll be taking you around so you can have a good look at all the car boots, all the tabletops with me, and see what you can spot as well. I'm a bit early, so I've stopped for a coffee. And yeah, I'm just looking at the weather and thinking, what is it doing today? It can't make its mind up. It's gonna be hopefully a lovely day today. It looks like we've got some blue skies, but also Blue skies with a chance of rain. I've turned into the weatherman at this point in the video. So yeah, I've just stopped and grabbed myself a nice little latte. I had a delicious bacon sandwich this morning. So that set me up for the day. While we wait for the car boot sale to open, I want to say a big thank you to Eufy Security who are working with me on today's video. They sent me over their solar powered security cameras to try out, which I've been testing out this week. So let's jump into that and I'll meet you back here for a browse around the boot sale. So this is from Eufy Security. If you haven't heard of Eufy Security already, they offer a complete home security system, but with a real focus on privacy to make sure that your data remains with you. So this is the S220 Solar Cam. Let's get one out to show you. And I've set the other one up already this morning. It's out on the roof garden. It was really easy to set up. You just download the app to your phone and then you match the camera to it. It runs on your Wi-Fi. It even comes with these little stickers makes it really handy for mounting the base. And you just add the solar cam. So as you can see, it has the large solar panel on the top here. And what's great about this is that three hours of sunlight per day will be enough to keep this running. It's completely wire free, which is really handy. So you can literally pop these up anywhere. You could pop one up, you know, in your back garden, on a fence, you could put it on your front porch. Let's take a look at the roof garden now. It has a microphone, so you can actually hear what's going on out there as well. Can you hear the wind? You can also, talk through it. You can just press the microphone, someone at the front door, you know, you've got a delivery or something and you're away, you would be able to talk to them through it as well, which could be really handy. Let them know where to leave a parcel for you. And then of course you will know that you've got that added layer of security if a parcel is perhaps popped behind your bin or in your porch. And in terms of the tech kind of specs, it has day and night clarity, infrared LEDs, and also a 1.6 aperture. So essentially it lets in lots of light. So at night time you get better quality. So for me, I love the fact that it's solar powered. So I'm not actually using any energy and also it's completely free once you've got it. So you're not paying any monthly bills. Your data isn't going to a cloud or anything like that. All the storage is local. Lots of different controls with it and lots of flexibility. So you can do things like add some privacy areas. So you can also add zones so it only records when there's movement in certain areas of the view as well. So the camera's completely weather resistant so it will keep running through snow, hail, rain, storms. With the solar feature it has continuous power so you never have to worry about recharging the batteries or the batteries going flat and local video storage as well. So all of your data and privacy you know is not going to be getting into the wrong hands. And then depending on how many cameras you want around your home, you can connect to the Home Base 3. The Home Base 3 will give you loads of storage. You can actually add a hard drive to it. This does come with two of the cameras in there as well. So I hope that's useful. Some of you who, like me, have been thinking about increasing the security on their home but don't want 
any faff, any monthly fees, and have to worry about changing batteries all the time. I'll leave some more information about UV security in the description box, along with links to the products that I've shown you, so you can have a look down there if you're interested. And a big thank you to UV security for working with me on this part of today's video. Right then, it's time to head down to the boot sale now, and remember when we get there, eyes peeled, and make a note of anything that you think I might pick up, because I'll be sharing with you everything that I get for my 20 pounds at the end of this video. Like the clown is missing today for regular viewers. Maybe he has finally been sold.
guessing these are old pet carriers. They're a little bit small for pumpkin and mittens now. They're cute though, aren't they? Sainsbury's. Look who's on the cover of Prima magazine. There's our Steph. There is history all over London in the most unusual places. These railings are actually stretchers from World War II. So you can see they've got the mesh kind of grid design. This is what the injured would have been laid out on. And then they have these handles, so this would raise the stretcher from off the floor so that it would be then easy to pick it up once somebody is on it. And yeah, they reused them after the war to create fencing around different housing estates. picked up and I have stuck to the £20 budget. We are bang on. I'll have a quick sit and then we'll get into everything that I got. Okay, that was several big gulps, but there we are. I'm thirsty. So, um, I'm going to show you the things in order actually. It helps me remember all the prices. So the first thing that I spotted was this lamp. And this was kind of just lay out on the floor and I was having a little look at it. I really liked the um, lamp base on this. So that's what I was kind of inspecting. And I was having a look at this as well. Looks okay, it's probably seen better days. I think it's a little bit kind of worn here and there, but not too bad actually. I could probably clean that up. I think by giving it a good um, vacuum and then maybe just going over it with like a water wipe. I think that would probably come up quite nicely. The base needs a good scrub and a good clean. It's kind of painted wood, as you can see. But yeah, the lady said to me two pounds for that while I was looking at it. So I thought, yes please, that is fab for two quid. And then I had a look on the underside and I saw it's Laura Ashley home. So there we go. So yeah, she told me that it's all working. Had a little look at the plug and I just thought it looks quite old, to be honest. But yeah, it just all needs a really good clean. I'm even gonna like have to give the, um, plug and the cable a little scrub but I like the fact that it's got a really long cable on it so when I do plug this in I've got kind of flexibility as to where I put it and it's even got the light bulb in it <laughs> I mean come on for two quid you can't argue with that I have tested it out since I got back and it works so yeah I'm gonna put this I think on the Laura Ashley um, side table that I've got in the living room 
downstairs. I think it will go really nicely with that. It might be even from like the same kind of time. But yeah, very pleased with that and two pounds. I thought that was a steal. So the next thing that I got was a couple of mugs. So there was a table that had a few mugs on. A couple of them caught my eye. So I asked the seller, how much are you selling your mugs for? And they said, one pound each. So I spotted, first of all, this one, which is an Emma Bridgewater stars design. Absolutely beautiful. I've sent Kate a picture of this already. We often um, share with each other <laughs> our boot sale booty. And Kate said that they're a really nice kind of size to drink out of as well. It is a really nice shape, isn't it, and size. So yeah, one pound for that. It looks like one of the kind of older original designs. Maybe some of you have this one. I'm not sure what the um, butterfly means on there, but very cute. It actually reminds me of the tiles that I've got in the ensuite bathroom now, the little butterfly on there. But yeah, it's even got the stars kind of inside. Really like that. I think out of all the kind of Emma Bridgewater prints, I do like the simple ones. And I'm hiding behind the mug now because the Diet Coke is um, doing things to me. <laughs> I just need to let that pass. I think we're good. I've also got another mug from the same um, seller, and it's this one. So I spotted this beautiful Le Creuset mug, and, and yeah, I thought that was a really good price, again, for one pound. Can't go wrong, can you? Some absolute gems at the boot sale this week. Very happy with my two mugs for one pound each. And then I went to another stall, um, that had some random bits of clothes on it. Not much in the way of homeware, but sometimes they're the ones where you have to sort of have an extra little look because I don't really look at many clothes. I've said this before at the boot sale. It's kind of, I find it quite time consuming and I don't know, I have a flick through rails and stuff, but if they're all strewn over the floor, I don't tend to go in and rummage with clothes. But what I do do is look around in between the clothes for bits of bric-a-brac and you know, homeware and that kind of thing. Yeah, rather than bypassing a, a seller with like loads of clothes, I'll just pause and have a quick look to see if they've got any like odds and ends within the clothing. And this seller did, and they had these candles. I've actually picked up this set from the boot sale already, but you can never have enough Christmas candles. And I did go with it in mind that I wanted to get some Christmassy bits and some autumny bits today. Very little in the way of Christmas and autumn homeware. Did you spot anything? Um, I think I saw like one or two novelty Christmas decorations, a little kind of broken Christmas tree. And that's pretty much it, apart from the thing that I'm gonna show you at the end. My dream is to find some like really ornate Christmas scenes in jars. You know, like the ones I saw on QVC. <laughs> that's what I wanna find at the boot sale. So from now until Christmas, as long as it's running, I'm keeping my eyes peeled for that sort of thing. I want some kind of really cute German style old school Christmas decorations and I think we'll find them. You know I found the um, the little train scene, that's the kind of thing that I'm after. I want some something a bit like that for a bargain price hopefully so we will be keeping our eyes peeled. But yeah I thought with the Christmas theme in mind these were fantastic and the lady said she was selling everything for one pound. She was so sweet, she was like yeah I just want one pound for every single item I want to get rid of everything, make people happy. So I am very happy um, with my Yankee Candles, the home inspiration ones, and I can smell them through here already. Oh, that smell just smells festive. Absolutely love it. So yeah, I'll pop those away with my little stash of candles that I've got up here in my hamper over there. And then what was next? Next up, oh yeah, the um, same seller, sorry, a different seller, but the same, uh, how do I explain this? We're moving on to another seller. Okay, so the next seller that I bought from um, was selling this paintbrush, and I thought that just looked like a nice quality one. It's by um, Axis Decor, uh, which I've never used before, I don't think, but I just liked the look of the ends, the tip of this paintbrush. I've noticed with quality paintbrushes, if you're doing decorating, the ends, like the bristles here, will be slightly feathered. So rather than it being a really blunt edge, can you see that? You see how it looks like the hairdresser's gone in there and done a little snip, snip, snip and made them slightly feathered. I feel like that gives a better finish. You can see they're kind of slightly layered. We've gone into paintbrush chat and I'm not gonna apologize for it. <laughs> so I thought um, it looks like a good quality brush 
and I asked her how much she would like for that and she said one pound so I was like yes please took the brush that would be really good for cutting in and with the feathered bristles yeah I just think that that's going to be really good to get you nice lines and um, it's all gone a bit weird because I'm stroking my hand with it but you know what I mean and I've had a little look online since and yeah these ones are around probably I think like five or six pounds so it's a good price for a quality paintbrush and if you buy a quality one it saves you a lot of hassle doesn't it you don't get like the little hairs when you're painting and um, being stuck on the wall and constantly picking them off so yeah that's perfect for the many jobs that I'm doing around the home and then the same seller had this pack of hooks which are quite tricky to see. Let me get one out for you. And I thought these would be good to stick on windows. Or I guess you could use them anywhere, maybe on tiles and stuff, but there's no instructions. So I'm not sure which bit peels off. Oh yeah, so it's the um, piece of plastic at the back. And then it's kind of clear, so you could stick these anywhere that you like. And I feel like I've seen lots of different people using these on um, Instagram and things like that for like various jobs. I think with the big backing, hopefully that will be able to hang quite a lot. So I think these will be quite handy. And there's quite a few. There's actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten in this pack. What I'll probably do is look these up, see if I can find them, just quickly read the instructions to see how much weight um, those will take so there's no accidents. And then on to my designer find. So this is an interesting one. I spotted this pair of socks and they are Gucci socks. And it said size L, so I was intrigued to investigate further. And as you can see, they've got like a really interesting, like knitted design, almost like crochet. And I've seen these on campaigns and on um, Instagram and all things like that before. And I thought they looked really classy, really, really lovely socks. And yeah, I've seen them being worn with like a nice pair of loafers. They've got this really interesting kind of panel going through them. And then the kind of design here in this nice beige colour. So I'm imagining wearing these with, yeah, some nice loafers, I think, and then maybe some like, probably white trousers, I don't know, or like chinos. I'll have a little look, I'll have a look on Pinterest, but my goodness, the price of Gucci socks, if you look, I mean, not that I'd ever buy a pair of socks for these sort of prices, but if you go on Gucci store or go in store, go online, <laughs> they, they're not £10, so I have bought a pair of socks for £10, which is probably the most expensive pair of socks I've ever bought in my life, but that is probably 10% of the um, retail price of these. There he goes justifying it, but they're just like a lovely pair of quality socks, and they are 100% cotton, and made in Italy. So yeah, it says, do not tumble dry, delicate machine wash, and yeah, I was thinking, I wonder if these are authentic and the seller said to me that she used to work in the Gucci store and that's how she ended up with Gucci socks to sell. So there we go. I think £10 is pretty good going. And in terms of like good quality socks, I have had some really nice ones from Moss Bros. And where was the other place I had some from? I can't remember, but they felt really nice to wear and I think these will be similar. You kind of know when you're wearing a good quality pair of socks. So, £10, nearly blew the budget, but we are looking at, yeah, £3 left, I think it is, if you've been doing the maths. Um, I hope you have, because I haven't, I've lost count now. <laughs> but I'm on to the last item, so hopefully that's all added up to 20. Um, yeah, fingers crossed. So on to the last thing, um, as I was heading out, I do go back and have a look underneath tables. That's what I like to do and just have a good look again at all the sort of um, seller's items and see if there's anything else that's either been bought out, because that often happens. Sellers will bring more items out from their car as the um, morning goes on. So yeah, I didn't see this first time round, but I spotted it under a table and it's this twinkling cluster light in white. It's an outdoor one from home base and a nice big size on this. And the seller wanted three pounds for this, which I thought, was a good price and as you can see it's got kind of like a 3d effect going on so yeah it says outdoors but i'm guessing you could probably use it indoors as well oh yeah for indoor or outdoor use always place the plug into an indoor main socket or weatherproof outdoor socket 
And yeah, nice long cable on it. You've got three meters of cable before you get to your snowflakes. I could probably put this on the roof garden and still plug it in. Um, but I'll actually probably hang this indoors. And you might be pleased to see that I hung something there because lots of you thought that the nail was like a little fly or like a little speck on your screens and I had you all wiping your phone screens or your television screens so I do apologise for that and I'll keep an eye on that in the future so that it's not distracting you and you're thinking what is that that I need to wipe but we do have a hook there so maybe that's where the snowflake will end up at Christmas time and that is my £20 spent that is all the bits that I've got to show you. So let me know how you think I did with the £20 budget. And shall we make this a thing? Maybe I could challenge some of my YouTube friends um, to do the same. Let me know if you enjoyed this one in the comments down below. And what was your favourite item? Did you spot any of them as we went around the boot sale um, before I showed you in the hall? I'd love to know all that. And did you get any good bargains yourself recently? Do let me know in the comments down below. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, do give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe for brand new videos every single week. Lots more is on the way for you as always. Enjoy the rest of your day or evening, whatever time it is you're watching this one. And I will see you very soon. Bye.